There's been a huge wave in Canvas-based productivity applications. Today, I'm going to take a look at Apple Freeform, give you what it is, the key features, and a best for and who is most likely to use it in today's video. So let's kick things off and look at what Apple Freeform is. Now this is very simply a iOS and Mac coming soon application that will allow you to essentially collaborate with other people but utilize a canvas mural style design, bringing inspiration from images, using your Apple Pencil and taking advantage of the screen real estate to demonstrate ideas flowcharts and more. This is a very popular type of experience that we've seen and we've seen alternatives more recently like Muse which has been doing very well on Apple's actual platform. Now there are a few key features to know about Apple Freeform and that is really centered around the collaboration aspect. You can actually connect it up with FaceTime and dial in somebody to be able to collaborate with you in real time and see each other's interactions on the page. This is great for sketching out ideas, thoughts and processes that are really early stage and naturally will allow you to share them asynchronously as well. Now that's something a lot of people like about this experience because it's naturally synchronous to do it through FaceTime and uh, I think a lot of people were on board with that. The other core experience is it utilizes the mm. iOS platform with Apple Pencil and in particular iPad OS, which allows you to take really high grade sketches and be able to utilize all of Apple Pencil's abilities as well, which a lot of people like because a lot of people have iPads, a lot of companies already getting started mm. interacting with them. So who is this best for? I would say this is great for people who are sketching out ideas, but not necessarily in a business environment environment. Apple Freeform currently still early days with it but naturally as its own separate application it doesn't really have a business or enterprise setup like applications like Miro, Milanote and other experiences. Now the main reason behind why I don't say it's great for business is because there's not really too many advanced setups with the Apple business plan. There's not a great deal of accounts like Microsoft versus Apple, but at the same time, it's great for ideas, capturing, bringing together thoughts. And if you were in a small team and you use FaceTime and you don't necessarily care about the business type setups, this could be a really good application for you. It could also be great for students and those who are doing this type of work, um, maybe arts-based degrees, and also being able to bring ideas together for projects in business, uh, in architecture, and much, much more. So this is great as an all-round experience, and a lot of people have been liking to use it asynchronously on their own and be able to collaborate with other people to add stuff at another time, which is really nice. So this is something that Apple are looking to experiment with, so we'll be excited to see what they're planning in the future. So folks, I hope you enjoyed today's feature. This is Keep Productive. If you want to subscribe and check out productivity tools and resources, you naturally can. It's been a pleasure having you. My name is Francesco D'Alessio, and I will see you all very soon.